and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. Human beings hunger for recognition. We long to be noticed and often love being the center of attention and this desire is not surprising. In the age of social media, the craving to be seen and being celebrated and to be in the spotlight seems stronger than ever. But some desires are dangerous and this is certainly one of them. That is why in vainglory, which is an inordinate desire for praise and recognition, has been recognized as one of the seven deadly sins. It is the church's way of telling us that if we let this desire defeat us, it will deeply damage us and never provide the satisfaction and fulfillment we anticipate. Jesus knew this, and so it is no surprise that in today's Gospel passage, which is the same passage that we hear every year on Ash Wednesday, he warns us to be on guard when we see people who do things only to be seen. These are people who do good things, giving alms, praying, fasting, but for the wrong reasons. Even if their acts achieve good, such as helping the poor, they are not genuinely good acts because their intention is not to, good, not to do good, but solely to draw attention to themselves. That is why Jesus dis dismisses them as hypocrites. But he's also telling us that if we strive to find happiness and meaning in our lives by seeking praise and glory for ourselves, we will be disappointed. In the Gospel, after each example of hypocrisy, Jesus say they are already repaid. He contrasts this with being repaid by God to stress the emptiness of a life whose dominant purpose is to make ourselves the center of attention. In other words, they who are already repaid end up with nothing at all, as we are called to give glory and praise not to ourselves, but to God. If we do so day by day, through our thoughts, words, intentions, and actions, we will experience happiness fulfillment, honor, and glory, then we could never have given that we could never have given ourselves. If God is in the center in our life, then all our action come from our hearts. Then almsgiving becomes generous and spontaneous. Prayer becomes union with God and leads to action. And fasting is done in order to show our dependence on God and not on earthly things. As the Gospel says, your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. Amen.